Imagine you have a friend who's a motion graphic designer. You are best friend, so he does all the title animations you want for free. Whether you want to fade it, make it elastic, give it some glitch, or animate a whole paragraph, he would never say no to you. His name is PX Kinetype, he's really cool, and he comes in as an After Effects plugin, so let's open it to see what exactly Kinetype brings for us. Okay, here I got a very simple scene with a dumb animation, and once we download and install our friend PX Kinetype for free using the link in the description, we can open it from window under extensions. Then you can see different categories of text animation here. We're looking at the modern category, and actually the options are a lot. The rest of the categories are the paragraph, glitch, fade, motion, 3D, and elastic. Here I start with the motion category because of our little animation, and let's see which preview aligns with it better. I guess number 8 is what I want to try, but if I click on apply, nothing happens because we don't have a text layer yet. So let's create our title here, definitely change the color to an off-white, and have the light version of the font. Now let's reposition it on top of our line, and we're ready to go. Now let's have the text animation selected in the timeline and then apply the animation from the plugin panel. Here the plugin asks me if I only want the intro animation, the outro or both of them. I'm gonna choose in and out and here we go. The in and out points are marked here in the timeline and this is how it looks. Then I can use the left handle of each point to move it wherever I want like so and use the right handle on each one to increase or decrease the duration of the animation. I can also click here to customize the animation and effects that are applied to the text layer and the settings that are shown in the effect controls depend on what is used to create the effect. The amount is customizable for all of the effects but some effects like the ones in the glitch category also contain color or other options that can be customized. Now let's undo everything and try another category like 3D. This time I only want to apply the in point animation and the interesting thing is that I can choose the out point animation from another category to be more refreshing. Let's see what the fade options are and I want the text animation to end with this one. And now I have two different animations for the intro and the outro of our title which looks something like this. You can use the link in the description to get this amazing plugin for free from pixelo.net and enjoy a lifetime supply of kinetic typography templates. Good luck!